So for everyone, today I'm going to do my MR recons. So yeah, I just wanted to start off by saying that these rumbles were very good, honestly. Probably world record worthy, uh, but you know, it's whatever. I got a Norris and I'm pretty happy with that, uh, but they definitely had a lot more potential than what I was able to pull off. So I just uh, wanted to get that out of the way. I had a lot of mistakes, but you know, it's fine. Uh, anyways, here's the recons. So for this first scramble, I actually did the blue V, even though the very obvious solution was to insert this edge over here uh, on the yellow, which would have, would have led to a three cycle. And this is also the solution that Benjamin did for his NR single. Unfortunately, I didn't see that. Uh, so what I did, I don't know how I didn't see that, but whatever. I actually did the blue. So I did three moves inserting this and then having this sort of double sexy L3. So you know, this, and then I did like this, plus a tip. Uh, so that was a 2.28, but that could have probably been an NR single if I saw the good solution. The second scramble, I did the red V. So what I saw was that I could like put the center up and then solve these two edges. And I should have seen that this edge would be solved, uh, but I didn't, so I did like this. Uh, and then insert it, uh, but had I seen the edge being solved, I probably would have one looked as solved. Uh, but unfortunately I didn't and that probably cost me a sub 2, but I'm still happy with a 2.11. Okay, so for this scramble, there was a pretty obvious solution, I got 175 on this. And it definitely had some world record potential, if I'm gonna be totally honest, because it's a 6 mover. Uh, I'm gonna get back to that in a second. Uh, so the solution... It's actually pretty straightforward. So you see, we have the two move red V like this. And as you saw, this is an ML3 because we have it on the side here. So what I could have done, which would have canceled two moves, uh, was that I could like start off by doing this, like that. And my solution was doing this, and then like this, and then doing the tip at the end, which was a bad finger trick to begin with. Uh, but you know, it's sort of a safe solve, as well as me not being able to see the cancellation. So I was able to execute this sub-world record afterwards. So it's kind of unfortunate, I realistically wouldn't have done that officially. Uh, but you know, it could have been sub-1. But I'm not gonna complain anyways, you know. Okay, so for the fourth scramble, which is the solve that guaranteed me getting an R, I did uh, yellow V with this. And the time was a uh, 3.86, by the way. So I actually needed a 4.4 to tie. Uh, so getting an R wasn't that hard after the third solve. Uh, so yeah, this was bad. Uh, still like a decent solution, but not the best. So what I did was the yellow. So I saw this, this, and this. Had this big block, so I had to preserve that. Started off with the tips. Then did like this. And here, I probably should have done something like this to get it from this angle to do the ML3. Uh, but I did like this and then rotated and did this case uh, What I should have done is from this angle get it, get it like this, you know uh, And then get it from this angle Like that and then there you have which would have been more efficient Okay, so for this last scramble, I got a three flat and I did um, yellow V uh, Which wasn't that efficient, uh, but I ended up with a three cycle uh, so my solution was decent, execution not really, uh, but I started off by doing this and then sliding in this one. Probably did a couple of tips uh, earlier and then I had this so I just rotated and hedged. So yeah, that was my NR recons. I don't really know what to say other than that I'm super happy with it. It was my first sub 3, so I can't really complain even though I had a lot of mistakes. So yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to beating this even further, with maybe even worse scrambles. That would be am amazing, honestly. Uh, so yeah, I think my next goal is probably getting top 10 in the world or even sub 2. So yeah, I'm looking forward to competing. As you guys know, I am sponsored by the Cubicle, and I now have a discount code. So you can use the code VFIRST for 5% off your order. That's code VFIRST, V-F-I-R-S-T, for 5% off your order at thecubicle.com.